In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to use the XAPI features in this file. In addition to the standard Captivate statements that Fire and an XAPI publish, we've added some custom statements to give you some deep tracking on your interaction. The setup is pretty simple, really. In this template, a user responds to the questions on screen by clicking one of the buttons at left. When they do, a statement fires, indicating which button they clicked. The end result will look like this. Each of these statements are contextually related to some values you enter for the course identifier. This makes them easy to sort and filter, and provides some nice visualization in the analytics dashboard of your LRS. To use our statements, navigate to the Advanced Actions tab. On each choice action, you'll see an XAPI tab. Edit the details on this tab, then press OK to update the action. Make sure to check out our XAPI overview video for more details on these details. Once you edit those values, your file is set up and ready to go. From here, you'll need to publish and launch your files to see statements. Check out our Publishing to XAPI video for more detail.